Hello and good morning and welcome to the Sudoku channel. This is Oliver coming to you from y'all by the sea here in Ireland over in Europe and you're all very, very welcome. Now this is, we're looking back through the archives of the diabolical Sudokus in the Telegraph newspaper over in the UK. We're looking at their number 5417 coming from the 26th of February 2021 and this is part two of two part uh, video. In part one, we try to solve it using basic solving techniques. And what you see here is as far as I got and couldn't go any further and reckon we're going to need some advanced techniques. Now, if you want to go back and have a look at part one, there's a link down below in the description to get you back to part one. As well worthwhile having a look at it because I've noticed there are three solutions that have been submitted by uh, different viewers well worth looking at them totally different the whole lot of them <laughs> all right now i do have a, a, a hankry i like lens ones using the coloring technique now i'm a little bit late coming back despite my new year's resolutions now monday i should have had this done yesterday or saturday and i've had a look at your solutions and uh, thank you very much very interesting ones now Look, I can't uh, continue on this one the way the software is. So I'm going to um, transcribe all of this into the other software, the Hadoku software, which I find much easier when you come towards the end. So give me a second and I'll come back with that. OK, well, here we go. This is it on the Hadoku software, which I think is available free to download. It's called H-O-D-O-K-U. So get it if you can. What I like about this is every candidate within a cell is in the same relative position. <clears throat> so for example, we see that all the ones are in the top left hand corner, they're down here. It makes it easier to see that, okay, there are only two ones there. Um, across here we can see there's just two ones. Coming down this way, there are just two ones. It's handy if you're trying to find X wings or something like that. Now, look at this cell down here. It's got 138 in it. I originally had just a three in there. That was accidental. And I hope somebody didn't just put in a three then and try and solve it. That was my mistake and my apologies for that. Now, where I want to continue on from here and let me just highlight them first for you. Now, this is a very simple um, singles chain. Or you could also look at it as a thinned X-wing, but I find thinned X-wings maybe is a little bit harder to find. As a chain, it's much, much easier. If you start here and you say, so it's a singles chain, and there are tutorials down below in the comments if you want to have a look at them on a singles chain. If you start here and you say, this is not a nine, there's only two nines here. So if that's not a nine, this must be a nine. If that's a nine, this is not a nine. And again, we only have two here. If it's not a nine, then this must be a nine. And if that's a nine, then all of these nines, these three nines down here can't exist. That is if that becomes a nine. So look at it the other way. If that is not a nine, then this one is a nine. This is not a nine. And this is a nine, which means these three can't be a nine. And what's common between this one not being a nine and this one not being a nine are these two here. So we can get rid of those two nines here. Now, whether they make any difference at all, I'm not sure, but let's get rid of them first, okay? Well, having gotten rid of those two, we can see now we have still, we've got two nines here, but on this one here, we only have the single nine. So that becomes our, um, are nine for that cell. That now brings in a three here. We're getting something. Well, if we look down here in this house, now this, this is the only four that is left there. Okay, now if we look here on this column here, we have a triple here between um, these cells here. I'll just color them for you. That, that, and that. <clears throat> if you look at the candidates two, five, and eight, they appear in those three cells and nowhere else, which means, sorry, they appear in those three cells and there's no other candidates in those three cells, which means two, five or eight can't appear anywhere else on this column, which means we can get rid of the five out of both of those. Now, I'm madly scanning around to see if there's anything else. Uh, I can't see any triples or anything. Um, any hidden singles? 
There is one there, three. Uh, that's the only three on this row. I have a feeling we might be there. Now we have a conjugate pair of 5-8 and 5-8 in this column, which means we can't have any other 5-8. So we can get rid of that 5-8 there, making this the 1. And again, I'm just scanning around because it's bound to have had effect somewhere. <laughs> I can only find where it had the effect. Uh, that was the two 5-8s there. We've got two 5-8s here. 58589 that's oh 5895895989 that's a triple which means you can't have the a oh that's the only four anyway sorry so that becomes the four there and i just see on my next row here we only have the single four and they not do any other fours anywhere else we've got 3838121259595959 that's a triple i'm just i'm just now going through the um the columns to see if i've got anything uh, to pull out of those first uh, so five eight five eight nine. This we already had the triple two five eight. Oh look at that! I forgot to get rid of the eights. That was the triple five eight two five eight two five. Sorry about that. I should have got rid of the eights there as well. But wait, no. We'll do these first. That's a triple there. Nothing there. Triple in there. Oh, that triple there, the 133939, that's going to get rid of the 9 here. Exclude 9. And I always just have two 9s down at the bottom. Let's hope that might bring us in something. You know, I'm not seeing anything else. 59595959. Five, nine, five, nine, five, nine, five, nine. They're in an unusual um wonder no there's nothing th that doesn't point up to anything there's a five eight here and a five eight <coughs> i'm just wondering can we do anything fr from here um i'll just show them from here to here to here to here can't do anything from there again there 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 we have nothing to point to and what's our other one i think there's the only other one five eight here there to there we go there to here or that's all the same you can go there to there to there to there okay if we can start there and end here we'll do something this way if we can start there and end here we'll do something here okay so we have a possibility of some sort of a chain here if we just sort of sit and think about it and the only thing that's common is the five if we start yeah it would have to be on a five the eight doesn't oh the eight comes down here as well uh, but the eight doesn't come over here so let's try the five sorry i'm rambling a bit here uh go to color uh, see if I can sort out something here. So we start with the five. If that's not a five, then this is a five. If that's a five, that's not a five. If that's not a five, that is a five. There you go, we've got chain. <laughs> Very straightforward. It doesn't do it just gets rid of a five here, which doesn't seem to do much when you think about it. Okay, going the other way. If it's not a five, it is a five. If it's not a five, it is a five. Since I found it, I'm going to get rid of it. Okay, uh, exclude that five. Um, as I said, I don't think it does anything, but I've done it. Uh, one, two, one, two, five. Two. But you remember, I said there was another one. Either start there and then here, or start there and end here so either one if we could do that one we might be able to get rid of this one here would that be oh that's a five eight and a five there's an eight there and there's an eight here right that i can't see a chain now the other way we could wait no, off on off there we get rid of that one there do i have a little bit of a finned x-wing in here 
OK, suppose that's an X-wing there. If that is an X-wing, it is an X-wing. What's wrong with me? That's an X-wing. Look at that. Yeah. So we only have two fives here and we only have two fives here. So that's a standard X-wing. If you go down below into the comments, sorry for taking so long to find this X-wing. <laughs> If you go down the comments and look up x wigs you'll see what's going on here. Um, this thing called bases. We're saying that the there's two fives this way and there's two fives this way. And if that's the case, then you can get rid of all of the fives. So with the, the bases are in the columns. We can get rid of all the fives on the rows, which means we can get rid of these two fives over here. And uh, I'll just show you the proof of why it happens. Take any of the corners. And you say, OK, suppose this is a five. Well, if that's a five, we've got no fives here. If it's not a five, well, if that's not a five, then this one has to be the five. And if that's the five, this one can't be the five. And if that's not the five, then this one is the five. And if that's the five, well, we won't have any fives over here either. That means we can get rid of um, and I'll get rid of my colouring so we can get rid of the fives in both of those there exclude five now what does that do for us well we now have a conjugate pair here of 2828 which means we can get rid of an eight here i don't know if we have to or not but i'm going to do it anyway five nine five nine two eight two eight with all of these things you think would have come up at this stage with some uh quite obvious solution but it must be there must be another hidden unique somewhere or a hidden single as people call them Okay, this is embarrassing. I um I'm stuck. So near and yet so far and I just cannot see your way out of this. I'm going to have to really um I think use <laughs> Ken's method because <laughs> if you look at it there's an awful lot of binaries around here. There must be a simple chain somewhere if you can just work out where to start and maybe lens colouring will help me here. Sorry about this. I thought I was going to uh, run through this, but I'm not. OK, um, having difficulties, I'll be back to you. Right, I have been, I've been the best part of an hour looking at this, not getting anywhere. And I started going through looking at all these different binaries and using I think Glenn's method of highlighting those candidates and the one and the three struck out as being two possible candidates to start working on in order to get a chain but while I was doing all of that <laughs> I happened upon something totally different now there's no logic for this at all so I don't know what you call it. If you start off here with eight, so I made it an orange. Orange means that there is an eight there. So if you start off saying that this cell here, the value is an eight. Well, if that's an eight, we can't have any eights here. So those two purple means that there's no eights there. If you now look up on this row, if that is not an eight, then this one must be an eight. And if we look on this house, if that's an eight, then this one cannot be an eight. And then if you look on this column, if that's an eight, then this one, if that's not an eight, sorry, then this one must be an eight. And then if that's an eight, both of these will not be an eight. But this is the important one. We've already said there's no eight there. So if this is not an eight either, it means we've got no eight, no possible eights in column three. And that's an impossibility. Therefore, going back on that, setting that to an eight is incorrect. And I'm just going to take it from there because I'm really tearing my hair out at this stage. So I'm saying we cannot set that equal to an 8. I'm going to put it equal to a 1 and let's see does it get us anywhere. And I hope people will accept that as a possible way of solving this uh, puzzle. So we go in there, put in a 1 in there and see what happens. And I'd say it'll probably do it because there's so many binaries. We're going to get loads of things coming out. You can see they're coming everywhere. Or maybe not. Five nine five nine five nine. Oh, don't tell me after all of that it didn't solve it. I was hoping it would. Oh, there we go. We've got a nine there and a five here. Ah, we should be able to come away. Okay, it's. I'm not really happy with this solution. By the way, I've. I think other people came up with much better, logically better solutions. This was just me tearing my hair out, and um, I think I happened to come upon a solution by accident. 
rather than by design. But I'm so tired and cold. I've decided that this is the way I go to do it. All right. Now, if you want to see how to do this properly, go back, have a look at that link there for video one. And there are three good logical solutions there for you to look at. And I would put those as being, oh, way ahead of my feeble attempt here. All right. But thank you for watching. And if you want to look at more of these delving into the archives of the diabolical Sudoku puzzles of the Telegraph, be sure and thumbs up, comments, uh, subscribe and hit the bell. It really does help to keep <laughs> keep me going and keep me on my toes because if nobody's talking to me, I'll probably stop doing these. So really appreciate all the support I'm getting from everybody. And I know I'm a bit late now, so I will hope to get the next one out on Friday. God willing. Okay, so till then, slán tamal and keep safe.